or be yourself. What does that even matter? It might help you actually to understand what I do all about instead of being somebody else's image of a perfect human being. Hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Raminta Chik. Today I will tell you questions that help me and might help you too identify your purpose. First of all, I must say that I came up with these questions by myself. I didn't copy it from any sort of magazine or whatever, but kind of I feel that they are special, they are important and that's why I'm sharing this with you. So first question is, think about the best day of your life so far. Where was it? What's the location? What did you do? With whom you've been there? Why is this day the best day of your life so far? The honest answer might give you a good hint what priorities in your life are. Now think about person. You might know him well personally. Or perhaps he or she is just an idol you see in those glossy magazines. Just choose somebody you know. You truly look up to, they inspire you. And honestly, try to answer to yourself why this person is such an inspiration for you. What exactly he or she does, what makes you so excited and that makes you love that person so much. Maybe he or she created a wonderful family, wonderful relationships, uh, maybe they did something really important to world world, something really big purpose that it helped to thousands of people. Try to answer honestly what exactly inspires you in that person. Is it something what he does or is it something he or she is trying to give to our people? Or is it just the relationship, the atmosphere those people are creating around them? Be honest and just try to figure out what exactly inspires you about that person. Maybe he is inspiring because he wrote a wonderful book um, that changed the lives of many people around the world. And then, if you have a problem in your life or a dilemma, you can't decide what you're gonna do next or you can't decide what you're gonna choose, uh, you can ask yourself what you think that person what, who inspires you, what he or she gonna do in that situation in your life. Of course, you don't know what they gonna choose in that situation because perhaps they will never have this kind of situation and you don't know them maybe even personally. So how can you know what they gonna choose? But the answer you gonna come up with gonna be your answer. And if you think about that person that he is, he or she is your inspiration, you think they are clever, intelligent, and whatsoever, and you came up with the answer to your dilemma, it means you came up with a wonderful answer in that situation, what you think he or she gonna do, but actually that's perhaps the best option for you to do because you believe in that, that that's the best option to do. Often we are advised to be ourselves. Be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't copy anyone. Be yourself. What does that even matter? To be yourself. Try to think when in your life you feel truly yourself. Perhaps in some situations, some circumstances, you don't feel 100% yourself. Why? Maybe you're only feeling yourself, truly yourself, then you are being surrounded by family members and close friends, but every time you you are in some kind of other circumstances, other situation, you feel like you're hiding something about yourself and that's why you are not 100% yourself. Try to think when in your life you are like feeling the most, like you are 100% yourself. Try to think when exactly does that happen? What exactly can you do to feel more like yourself more often? Of course, everybody knows that being yourself is very important. It 
makes you feel authentic, but sometimes it's hard to catch yourself when you are not 100% yourself. So the next time when you're gonna feel 100% yourself, relaxed, and then just try to stop that moment for a second. Try to capture that moment and just stop. You can even take some notes and write down all the things. How does it feel exactly? How does it smell exactly to be 100% yourself? And every time you are in a situation then where you are stuck, you don't feel very comfortable, try to think again about how did it smell, how did it feel when you were 100% yourself. It might help you actually to understand what are you all about instead of being somebody else's image of a perfect human being. And now think of something that hurts you the most. It could be not necessarily something personal. It could be, it would have something to do with the country where you're living in at right now. Or it might even involve world, world. Of course, there are a lot of problems in this world, but try to trust your own intuition and something actually came to your mind first so grab that thing because chances are it's really important to you and now looking into that problem you wrote or you have in your head try to think creatively what can you do today to change that, to make this problem less a problem. What about after one month? What could you do? And then after one year, after five years, finally after 10 years, what could you possibly do to change this problem, make it less a problem or even find a solution for this problem? So that, of course, it might involve only your country, but it might also involve the whole world. And for some reason, somehow, if you truly think creatively, you could create a solution that works. Maybe you could even do something today, after one month, after a year. Once you do something, and it's like after one month, it is meaningful because it's important to you and somehow you took some action to change that issue, to make it less an issue. One more thing that I wanted to share with you today is an interesting task. A few days ago, in one of our acting classes, we were introduced to this kind of creating brainstorm task by our teacher, Carolina Pschis theater director. She does ask us to take a piece of paper and then we were asked to think about, and now I'm asking you to think, think about the project of your dreams. It might even be unrealistic at all. Who cares? It's a project of your dreams. Write everything, what that project is all about and is it realistic or not? Who cares? Just be really creative, think of something what you truly want to be involved in. It could be a little bit fantastic, not that easy to reach, whatever. And then also write what your role would be in that. You have to think about what your target audience is for that particular project. And that's it. You wrote the project of your dreams. Now the only thing you need is to critically evaluate what could you possibly do to reach it because I, I could tell that chances are that it's possible to reach this goal. It's possible to take action and to make this project of your dreams into reality. Just think about it as an actual project and you want to go for it. Just you have to make step-by-step -step plan what you're gonna do to actually reach it because it is possible. One of the examples we were given it was by our teacher. Once she first got this creative task by herself in some of her classes perhaps, she came up with an idea 
to create a theater of sensations. And right now she is she, she has done that already. She has created the theater of sensations. So, although at that time when she was asked about this to do it, this task about the dream project of her dreams, she actually didn't even expect it that it might become a reality. And lastly, I want you to think about people, people in your life you personally know who truly believe in you, who encourage you, who support you and help you in whatever way they can at that given time. Just write down their names on a piece of paper. Whenever you feel lost in your life, you can call to somebody from that list. You're lucky because you have those people you can call and they're gonna help you in whatever way they can and they're gonna encourage you and they believe in your project, they believe in your dreams. You're lucky because you have those people in your life. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting and useful and hopefully some questions and of course your answers gonna take you closer to your purpose. If you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you in my next video. Bye!